one of my favorite weekend shows is Money Pit, and one of the mm-hmm. hosts of Money Pit is on the phone. He's been with us before. Tom Kreitler is the co-host of the Money Pit. Uh, he's a professional home inspector, a home improvement expert, and he's going to talk to us about some trends and high-tech innovations uh, needed in homes today. Maybe something you might want to put in your own home. Good morning, Tom. How you doing? Good morning, guys. Great to be with you again. Yeah. Where, where are you? Where do you call from? Uh, we are calling in from New York City. New York City. All right. Uh, how's the weather up there right now? Uh, it's a beautiful fall day. It's supposed to hit, uh, I think, 75 later this afternoon. Wow. So Unusually so, warm. So every once in a while, there'll be something technology-wise that we think we can apply to our homes. Is that what you have today? Yeah, we've got some great ideas. So let's talk about a really common pain point, uh, especially in the colder weather. And that's, has this ever happened to you? First thing in the morning, you head into the bathroom, you start up the shower, it's really cold, and you got to wait seemingly forever for the water to get hot. Yes, every morning. Right? <laughs> yes. So the reason that happens is not because your water heater is not big enough, but it's because of the distance between the water heater and the bathroom. Yes. That hot water has to travel that entire distance to get to the faucet, and that's what takes so long. So if we could keep that water circulating through those bathrooms, then we would not have that problem. And there's a product out now that does that easily and inexpensively. It's from Watts. It's called the Watts Hot Water Recirculating System with a timer. And it's available at the Home Depot. Now, this installs in about an hour. It doesn't take long, but it's a small pump that gets mounted above the water heater. And then there's a sensor valve that gets mounted uh, in the vanity sink cabinet that's as far away from that water heater as possible, the farthest bathroom away. Then once those two pieces are in place, you set the timer, and then whenever you want that water to recirculate, the hot water will basically make a loop using your existing plumbing system throughout the entire house. So then when you pop into the bathroom in the morning, the hot water will be there ready and waiting for you almost instantly when you turn on that faucet. Oh, so it's not, it's not pumping 24 hours a day? It, you set it so it knows when you're going to need it? Correct. You set a timer so that you know when you want to actually start moving that water. So you could have it, you know, run for a couple hours in the morning and then maybe a couple hours in the evening, whenever you're generally, uh, you know, up and about and waiting for that water, which for most of us is really just the morning. Yeah. yeah you know, so yeah. It, it's it, it's a really nice thing to have, and it actually saves about 15,000 gallons of water a year because when you run that water, oh, you just wait yeah. for it to get hot. That makes sense. You know, you really waste a lot of water. So w- real quick question. I'm guessing somebody's wanting to know about the, the, the close to the the, the faucet water heaters, I'm guessing this d- takes care of the whole house? This d- it does, yeah, because it uses the existing hot water um, plumbing system, piping system, as the sort of the loop to circulate. So, yeah, you don't, the other way to approach this is to put in an additional water heater closer to the bathrooms, but that's much more expensive and more complicated. This is a really simple solution uh, that just works and works well. And does this affect the people that will turn their water heater off during the day while they're at work and then turn it back on when they come home? That's a great question. And certainly if the water heater is not running, then it's not heating. The water will be colder. So you wouldn't want to leave the timer on and the water heater off because you're just going to be circulating that lukewarm water. But if you did it in, in connection with the timing cycle, it would work well. So, for example, if you had both your water heater, say, let's say that you get jump in the shower at 6.30, right? So I would have the water heater come on around 5 in the morning, start the heat up, and then around 6 in the morning I'd have the timer come on and start circulating that hot water so that when you step into the bath at 6.30, it's good to go. And then you can have both of them go off, you know, when you're done with your morning showers, maybe around 8 a.m., and then repeat the cycle day after day. Wow. Um, What other ideas do you have for us? Well, there's uh, some new technology in roofs now that works really, really well to stop leaks. It's called Grace Ice and Water Shield. It's actually um, a product that's been around for a long time, but so many times people only use this if they live in an area that's uh, subjected to hurricanes or really chilly weather, but it just is a nice way to build a roof where it won't leak under any driving rain conditions because severe weather seems to be the norm. Uh, You put this uh, membrane underneath your roof shingle, so this is a job that you would do uh, if you were replacing your roof or doing a major roof repair. And it basically gives you complete protection from leaks. So if the shingles were to blow off, you're not going to have an issue with that. Or if ice was to form, you're not going to have an issue with that. Oh, really? What is it, like a fabric? 
it's not a fabric, it's a membrane, it's a rubberized membrane that comes in three foot wide sheets and you basically stick it right on the plywood roof deck and then as you drive nails through it, it seals around them. Oh. We were doing a cool little demo in the TV studio yesterday where we put a piece of this across a glass full of water, drove some nails and it turned upside down. The thing would not leak, just wouldn't leak. That is cool. How about yeah. the appliances that are washing all the time, like the dishwashers and the washing machine? You're always washing dirty stuff, but there isn't any time when I just run it through all by itself with nothing in it. Yeah, well, clean machines clean better, and so you really do want to do just that, but you want to use a product that will help scrub those machines clean. So, for example, your dishwasher typically gets pretty grungy with hard water stains and, you know, lime and food particles that get stuck in the little jets. There's a product called Glisten Dishwasher Magic. Now, Glisten is a company that makes a number of products that clean appliances. They're the sort of the machine cleaning experts. So the way you use this dishwasher magic is you pop it in the top rack of your dishwasher, and then you run a cycle the way you normally would and the dishwasher magic goes to work and breaks down all of those food particles and the water stains and flushes it away. They also have a product that's called Disposer Care. It's a foaming cleaner that goes in your disposer, does the same thing. And when you use products like this, it really gets into all those deep places that you can't possibly physically clean and does leave the machine quite nice when you're done. Tom, I have a question for you. I don't know if this is something you wanted to talk about, but real quickly, we're coming close to Thanksgiving. The only time I think people actually look through the window in the oven is Thanksgiving and, yep. and, and there sometimes there's um, dirt or something in between the like two pieces of glass right there is that well, po- you is that possible you to clean to that no you can't get to the if the seal is broken and you have um, some sort of debris in between the glass you can't get to that. But here is a very common mistake that people make when it comes to cleaning, cleaning ovens around holidays. You know, they do all their baking, right? And then they think to themselves, okay, I'm going to do one more thing, make sure my oven's good to go when I pop the turkey in tomorrow. I'm going to run the self-cleaning cycle. Big mistake, because that's when you put your appliance through the most stress it ever goes through. You don't want to do that at a mission-critical moment when you're going to have to use it to feed your family or extended oh. family the next day. So if you're going to run a self-cleaning cycle, uh, do it way well before the holidays and then just touch up around the holidays so that if it does break down, uh, you have time to get that addressed. And, and is everything that we're talking about, well, except for the water pump, we have to buy that, but I mean, do we get special tools or special cleansers or anything? Well, you mentioned the, the water well, the, thing. Well, the Glisten products are yeah. available at like you know supermarkets, so they're pretty available. The Watts product uh, is available at the Home Depot. So yeah, there's there are these, these products are ready readily available. Grace products are available at building supply centers. Um, there's also, if you want to do some indoor projects now uh, and you need adhesives for that, typically you have to use a bunch of different adhesives. There's a new adhesive that's an all-in-one out called Gorilla Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive. I love this product because you can use it inside and outside. It has very low odor and it just works. You know, my son was tackling, uh, he's 16 and he was finishing his Eagle Scout project, which was basically to install uh, 30 trail markers on these big, heavy 6 by 6 wood posts in a, in a park. And he was able to use this Gorilla Construction adhesive to glue these reflective trail markers to these wood posts uh, and then secure it with a couple of screws and it really worked well. Oh, that's a great, great idea. Um, so before you say goodbye, let's see real quickly some cleaning tips um, for du- like dusting and things like that. Well, if you're going to tackle some, you know, a lot of folks ask me how they can do these projects and stay kind of dust clean, dust free. Um, there are some tools out today. There's a lot of tools that have built-in vacuum systems to it, um, including some that you're probably really familiar with, like the Dremel, right? It's a really popular craft tool that a lot of folks use in the winter when they're kind of locked down and looking for something to do. They've got a new product out called the VRT1 that's got, uh, it's basically a rotary tool with built-in uh, with uh, built-in vacuum capabilities. You can hook it right up to a shop vac, so it pulls all the dust off, so if you're can- cutting or sanding or drilling with that, it won't get out. Then uh, there's a much bigger tool called the Roto-Zip Roto-Saw, which is good for like drywall and tile repairs and things like that, and that has uh, also dust protection built into it. They built something called the Dust Vault Attachment that keeps these areas free. It's a real trend now uh, to try to work cleanly because it's safer, uh, and you can get more done because you're not stopping to clean up. 
Uh, Tom, thank you for being on the air with us today. Uh, the website is? Moneypit.com. And if your listeners have a home improvement question, they'd like to reach us on the nationally syndicated radio show, The Money Pit. They can call 24-7 at 888-MONEYPIT. If we're not in the studio, we will call you back the next time we are. And, and what is the song? ba 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 pit What are the first words? <laughs> That's part? right. Money Pit. <laughs> uh, t- I, I know the song. I just don't know what they're saying in the first part. Down to that money pit. <laughs> Tom, you live in a money pit. Oh, you live in it. You live in a money pit. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, now I got it. All right, uh, and uh, thank you so much for being on the air with us. If you're ever in Florida, come by and say hi. We'd love to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. We'd love to do that. Take fun, care now. Fun stuff. We'll take a little break. Be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source.